Hello peeps, today we'll take a look at the best full frame camera in the market. I made this list based on my favorites and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the up to date prices and more information about these excellent cameras, you can check out the link in the description below. Combining a full frame sensor with a compact but ergonomic body, the Lumix S5 shows that Panasonic has learned lessons from its early full frame mirrorless models. At its heart is the same 24.2 MP sensor found in the S1, which we already know is capable of producing fantastic imagery. Paired with improved autofocus, a fully articulating touchscreen, and the option to shoot uncropped 4K at 30p plus 10 bit internally, the Lumix S5 makes an excellent travel camera for vloggers and still photographers alike. There are, of course, a few compromises as a result of its smaller, lighter body. The 2.36 M dot electronic viewfinder offers less than half the resolution of the S5's older siblings, while the maximum continuous frame rate is fairly pedestrian at 7 frames per second. Plus, some of the larger L mount lenses significantly increase the size of the whole system. All the same, the Lumix S5 is a highly functional full frame hybrid. It's comfortable to shoot with and compatible for producing excellent results in a range of lighting conditions, yet takes up less satchel space than the GH5. A dead ringer for the Nikon Z6, Nikon's latest large sensor effort is the best entry level full frame mirrorless camera on the market. As a beginner's option, it ticks a lot of boxes. Its weather sealed body features a big comfy grip and a neat control layout that's accessible in hand with a 3 inch tilting touchscreen that makes menu navigation a cinch. The 24.2 MP full sensor inside serves up lovely images in a range of shooting scenarios where the large bright EVF is fantastic for framing shots. Out of focus is very impressive too with the 273 point hybrid system working well for both static and moving subjects. And if you regularly shoot in low light, the black illuminated sensor of the Z6 performs better at higher ISOs. Still, the Z5 delivers plenty for those looking for their first full frame camera, provided you have a healthy budget. It's pricier than several rivals, and as the cost of the older but more capable Z6 continues to fall, buyers will have a tricky choice to make. An alternative to the EOS R that arrived right at the start of Canon's latest mirrorless line, the EOS RP is simply a much better option for many more people right now. While not quite as powerful in some areas, it's smaller, lighter, and a heck of a lot cheaper, and it's blessed with very good autofocus, a generous buffer, and an excellent touchscreen that flips out all the way to face the front. It wouldn't be our first choice for video, and the current native lens selection is still somewhat limited, but growing all the time, and the best RF glass won't work as well with this camera. But you can use masses of EF lenses through an adapter, so it's a no-brainer for existing Canon users looking to make the switch to mirrorless without dropping a fortune in order to do so. The Sony a7 IV is the best mirrorless all-rounder you can buy right now. It isn't as powerful as the Sony a1, as fast as the Canon EOS R6, or as affordable as the Fujifilm X-T4, but it does offer a brilliant blend of photographic power and video versatility. Effectively combining two cameras in one is the best example of the hybrid convenience that modern mirrorless cameras can offer. Three years from the classic a7 III, the a7 IV brings improvements, including a new 33MP sensor, Bion's XR processor, and significantly upgraded video skills. It also offers the best autofocus system outside of pro sports cameras, whether you're shooting photos or video, the Sony a7 IV does an unerringly good job of sticking to your chosen subject and locking focus onto their eyes in the case of people and animals. It isn't quite the perfect video camera with a crop 4K 60p mode and rolling shutter issues, but with support for 10-bit video, no recording limits, and new tricks like focus breathing compensation, it does offer more than enough quality and flexibility for photographers who are increasingly being asked to shoot an equivalent amount of video. The Nikon D850 is now over 3 years old, but if you're looking for a stills focused DSLR, it remains one of the best you can buy. Back in July 2017, the D850 superseded the brilliant 36.3 MP Nikon D810 that was long loved with both pros and hobbyists. It certainly had big shoes to fill, but fill them it did, thanks to features like 7 frames per second burst shooting and excellent high ISO performance. There's no doubt that mirrorless flagships like the Sony a7R4 have since raised the performance bar again for high megapixel cameras, but the Nikon D850 is now significantly cheaper than Sony's 61MP all-rounder. 
If you're mostly focused on stills photography and enjoy classic DSLR benefits like handling and battery life, then the Nikon D850 is a superb, versatile all-rounder. While the D810 retained the exact 36.3 MP resolution as the groundbreaking Nikon D800, it was later eclipsed by the 50.6 MP Canon EOS 5DS and 42.2 MP Sony Alpha A7R2. The D850 though got an all new 45.7 MP full frame back illuminated sensor, which was a hefty increase in pixels over the D810 and only marginally behind the 5DS. The Pentax K1 Mark II is a supremely weather-sealed, tough-built full-frame camera with a 36MP stabilized sensor. Built as more a refinement of its predecessor than a replacement, the K1 II gains a new handheld pixel shift mode and sees improvements made in its AF tracking algorithm. It also has a new preprocessor. Unfortunately, our testing reveals that this additional processor applies full-time noise reduction to raw files, resulting in inferior image quality to its predecessor at higher ISO values. The K12 faces stiff competition from other full-frame models at this price point, many of which outspec it across the board, but you'd be hard-pressed for landscape and adventure shooters to find a full-frame camera with as many valuable and unique features like built-in GPS, an astro tracer mode for night sky photography, sensor shift technology, and LED lights on the body. Okay, that's all for today guys. I hope you liked the video. Please tell us which products you'd like us to view next in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description box for all the buy links of products featured today. Thank you.